<laughs> the hole was strategically placed near his lower loins, if you know what I mean. Near that poke link, that beef sausage. When I walk through. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here it is simply welcome to my channel guys i am rochelle and y'all we're actually getting ready to go out and run some errands let me show y'all my outfit real quick y'all know how i start these vlogs off i'm always making a mad dash out of the door but anyway let me show you guys my outfit and then we're gonna head out all right guys so i have on a pair of gold cream and white pumas a pair of high-waisted jeans from uh cotton on um guys i have on this really cute crop top but under the crop top i'm wearing a bralette because i wanted just a little bit more coverage so girl that's about it, it ain't nothing fancy but anyway y'all let me grab this stuff we're gonna head out to mcdonald's and drop grab our pros and coke real quick and then we're gonna go on to uh run our errands and stuff all right, y'all, I am back and we're at McDonald's getting the infamous frozen Coke. So y'all, we got, um, thank you. We got a large today. So guys, I'm gonna be, uh, so we're gonna be having a mixture of footage. So uh, if you notice the difference in quality, and you might not because the iPhone, I have an iPhone 12, the quality on it is pretty good, but I'm gonna be doing a little bit of the vlog on the camera. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of the vlog on the phone, girl. So I just want to give y'all the heads up. You know what I mean? All right. Now, hopefully, let's see how they going. Because, baby, yesterday, I mean, the other day when they made the frozen Coke, they made it like a swirl. Ooh, yeah. Y'all look. She filled it to the top, baby. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, huh? I'm Farida. No, your name. Your name, Day. Day? Yes. Fighty Day filled it to the top, y'all. This is for my YouTube blog. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye. all right y'all welcome back to the vlog girl let me tell y'all what i don't like okay so uber called me and they wanted to pretty much get back together or whatever because y'all i used to do uh uber eats and so i stopped doing doing uber eats or whatever because i don't know it got too hot outside and then i was just really frustrated with just trying to learn directions and because i'm not really good at directions so girl they called me and they offered me like an incentive plan or whatever and so i was like okay that look good that look good or whatever that looks like a good plan and so y'all um i did make good money doing uber eats or whatever y'all lori oh that's lori she's the one who put me on y'all i'll tag her channel make sure y'all go follow her so she put me on to uber eats or whatever so i started doing it and all of this kind of stuff or whatever and so they called basically here they they called me and was like we got an incentive plan or whatever so i was like okay you know that looks like you know that looks like a really good deal so pretty much they was like you know we'll pay you it's pretty much like close to five hundred dollars to come back and start you know doing uber eats again so i was like okay that sounds good or whatever but y'all so they was like you get a guarantee we will guarantee you that we're gonna give you this we'll just say five hundred dollars if okay if you do like uh Mm -mm. they was like okay so we'll give you um i'm not taking this see okay so they was like we'll give you all, whatever kind of money if you come back and you start driving with us whatever so i was like okay cool so i decided that i was gonna do it or whatever so girl i just finished my first delivery well first of all the i'm not good at directions and they gps thing or whatever they give you directions and that thing is not good at directions. so girl i'm driving around looking for this lady house or whatever so i'm frustrated about that and then another thing is like i guess they feel like oh well so since we she signed up for this incentive we just gonna throw her the dolphin um options or whatever my mind's telling me no but that crack y'all 
the great teams tell me a hey, gotta go. Hey, them hoes gonna uh, send me a thing talking about uh, $5.61 and it was like to pick up two orders. So y'all want me to go to two places. Y'all let me wipe this lens off. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. So anyway, girl, so they want me to go to two places for like $5, girl. So I was like, no, like I'm not finna be driving two places for no goddamn $5. So then I just declined the order. Girl, why they gonna come back and even and offer me even less money for the same order? Like, I'm not smart enough to figure out that, that um this is the same order. Okay, so then after that, um... I, I so I basically left my neighborhood because y'all in my neighborhood is like a whole bunch of like crab places like crafty crab, tasty crab, crispy crab. You gonna get crabs if you come and buy these crab crabs. Hold on, y'all. Here come another order. Okay, now this one. Okay, I think. Uh oh, uh uh, and, uh girl, y'all see this? What I'm talking about, girl? They talking about girl. Wait a minute, girl. They gonna talk about eleven dollars, but they want me to go to two places that's far as hell. Uh uh, I don't like this shit. They can't. They pissing me off. But anyway, girl. So, uh, crafty crab. You gonna get crabs if you come buy these crabs, crabs. You know we got crabs if you want crabs, crabs. So I was so anytime I used to be going, cause I used to do DoorDash too. Anytime I used to be going to do pick up them orders for DoorDash and stuff like that, girl, people be trying to give you like two dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like they buy a hundred dollars worth of crabs and then want to give you, you know, two dollars. I'm exaggerating, y'all, but y'all get what I'm saying. And so it's like I just got frustrated. And so that's why I left my side of town. So, guys, I'm kind of in the part of town where there are I'm not in the Houston the medical center, but I'm in the part of town where there is a huge like uh a whole bunch of hospitals and stuff like that hold on let me see a whole bunch of hospitals and stuff like that what the fuck girl y'all what is going on so anyway girl not they they look i'm frustrated y'all they calling me they gonna try to offer me five dollars but they want me to drive 12 miles. Y'all, $5, but they want me to drive 12 miles. They want me to go literally all the way to another side of town for $5.55. Girl, this y'all, this not gonna do it. We not gonna, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Like, what the fuck? And then anyway, so like I was saying, I left my side of town to come over here because it's a lot of hospitals and when i was doing this before girl like them people who work at them hospitals they'll order like six drinks and they order might come out to like twelve dollars and then you get there you drop the drinks off all you have to do is just park real quick because you can't be going up in a hospital like that anyway and you go to the lobby or whatever so you go to the lobby you drop the stuff off you let the people know or in the app that you know that you're there that you're you know the stuff is there and girl i used to be getting like fifteen dollar orders in fact i think i'm finna just drop to closer to the hospital because baby these dolphin orders i'm getting is not gonna get it hold on y'all we finna drive over closer to the hospital because they pissing me off i don't know who the hell they think i'm not i'm not what i'm gonna do with this little bit of money y'all yeah let's go over here closer to like because i'm thinking I'm thinking if I come over here to buy Tesla, because we're over here. In fact, let me see if I can show y'all the Tesla building. I don't know if you guys can see it, but literally, guys, we are across the street from Tesla. I hope you guys can see it. So I'm figuring, y'all, I figure if we come over here by the Tesla building, and you know what I'm saying, like by, um, hold on. I'm figuring if we come over here... You know, we buy all of this stuff or whatever because I used to get some good orders over here. Like, girl, I literally used to get like orders. You could get like $10. All you had to go to, to go to Benny Hunters, pick the food up and take it to like these luxury apartments over here. And that was an immediate $10. And on top of that, because the, you would bring the people food so fast, they would tip me really, 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 really good. But they pissing me off today. And then that's another thing, like, oh my goodness, hold on, y'all, the camera moving a little bit. Okay, there we go. They That's another thing, like, that's pissing me off. 
And girl, I, w I got lost in these apartments. And so I was asking one man, did he know where this building was? And he I, he was like, uh, you know, ain't, ain't, ain't no apartment nine. Ain't no apartment, not apartment girl. Ain't no apartment nine. Ain't no apartment nine. I've been living over here for 15 years. I've been living over here for 15 years. If, it was a, if you would just slow down for a minute, if you would just slow down for a minute, I could tell you where it is. And I'm just like, so I got the fuck up out of there. So I called the lady girl. And y'all, I am not trying to talk about nobody. But I could just tell, like, by listening to her, she was probably auditioning for hoarders or some shit like that or whatever. So, girl, I don't know. Like, it, so I called her. She breathing all hard and stuff or whatever. And I'm explaining to her, like, I cannot, you know, I can't find your where your apartment is or whatever. So, anyway we ended up working it we ended up working everything out but it's just like y'all oh this is i'm trying to be i'm trying to be like uh positive or whatever i don't know y'all i just i'm just trying to you know y'all i'm just trying to stay out of corporate america that's all i'm trying to do is stay out of corporate america i do not want to go back so i figured i would just do this you know for the time being or whatever but girl i don't know like i'm trying to have a positive attitude and then y'all on top of that like maybe i need to just wear my little uh you know because i be having i had me a little stroll those some nice apartments y'all i had me a little strategy together when i first started doing uber eats and when i tell you that shit worked all the time it worked all the time so girl let me tell y'all what i used to be doing baby i used to put on my little at leisure wear outfit i would put on my at leisure set and um you know i always like one thing that like when Lori was telling me how to do how to do uber or whatever she was like you know of course like you always want to look fly like you always want to look fly which for me that that's not a problem she's like always make sure like your car is super clean make sure you know that you you look nice you just really well put together or whatever and she was like you know always have your makeup and stuff done because that helps with tips and y'all i'm not gonna lie it really does you i do get some big tips i i, I do when i do this i get some big tips or whatever so girl I, I so anyway i today i was like well i own this i don't particularly you know i ain't even know if i was gonna uber today but i was like well since i accepted that little incentive y'all i have to do 60 deliveries by march the 27th um so so you know to get this incentive that they offer me or whatever and so i'm just i was like okay that's cool that's cool whatever but i did kind of go against the grain and maybe i should have put my little at leisure set on and all of that because maybe it just bring me luck because baby right now these orders oh my goodness these orders ain't, ain't i mean the stuff that's coming through is not good the stuff that's coming through is not good at all so i'm about to drive over here to uh over here by memorial city mall um because i do remember it like by memorial city mall by the hospital by all of that girl you get some good some really good tips so hopefully i don't know maybe the orders are just not good because gas prices and stuff like that i don't know but i'm frustrated already and i'm trying not to be or whatever and so i'm like well maybe um i'll drive over here and see what they got going on but girl let me let me give me a little strategy together i'm gonna call y'all back all right y'all i am back and y'all see this <laughs> y'all see this smile on my face i girl i knew when i came to this neighborhood okay y'all so i just got an order for nine dollars and it's basically to go to california pizza kitchen pick up a pizza and literally the place where i'm taking a pizza to is a, a mile away and see that's what i'm talking about you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what i'm talking about because baby i don't know what uh baby i don't know what dolphins they thought uh i don't know who they thought they was playing with with them other orders y'all i'm sorry i'm trying to find somewhere to uh park hold on i'm gonna try to just go a little bit further back over here girl why the mall be crowded all the darn time so yeah girl i don't know who who them other people thought they was playing with no sir not me okay all right y'all so let's go get this shim money um okay i'm gonna see i'm gonna run in here real quick i'm gonna see y'all in a minute 
All right, y'all, I am back and I am wore out. I'm sorry I did not come back earlier, but girl, like just trying to, I'm not really good with directions and stuff. And so y'all like just trying to figure out, you know, like how to get to people's houses and all of that kind of stuff, girl, it just be, I don't know. You just be, it, it just gets, for me, it gets confusing and it gets a little bit frustrating, but I did end up getting some really good orders. So I think the last time I talked to y'all, I got like an order. It was like $10 in a place. Literally the house was like maybe a mile or something away. Then after that, another order came through for like $12. And then after that, another. So I did get some good orders, but it's just like, girl, you just be looking like, damn, all it is like driving and stuff. And when it's all said and done, you know, you, I don't really feel like I make that much because guys, Houston is so big. So even though I went to Memorial City Mall, like the order I took from Memorial City Mall, I mean the, okay, so the order that I got at Memorial, Memorial City Mall uh, was $10 and it was only a mile away from like, so the man house was only like a mile away or a mile, 1.7 miles away from the, from the mall. And then I got another order. I think that order was like maybe another $10, $9, $8, something like that. But the restaurant was only like, I don't know. The restaurant was like three minutes away from the man's house that I took the food to. So I was like, oh, this restaurant, this is just three minutes away. So let me go get this person food. But the problem was the person food that I went to get, he lived nine minutes away. I'm, yeah, Was it nine minutes? He lived nine, I think nine miles away from the restaurant. So I was like, okay, well, this is almost, you know, cause I tried to like, if they send me an order for $10, I try to make sure it's under 10 miles. So then after that girl, I took him his food. So the thing was like, oh, we have $12, but the restaurant is only a mile away. So the rest, so the restaurant was a mile away from the boy house that I took the food to. Oh, you know what? No, it wasn't. It wasn't even a girl. It was literally like 50 feet away because I took his food off of this street called San Felipe and Tangawile. And the restaurant that the person ordered the food from was literally right there or whatever. So all I did was walk to the restaurant, you know, cause I was already parked and just got the food for the, for the next person. The problem is the next person lived like. 12 miles away and so that made me be all the way out girl it passed you know a certain neighborhood and so anyway um and then I had to maneuver all the way home and so you do get some really good orders but I think like when I go back out I'm gonna try to stay in the neighborhood but yeah girl it was just a little experiment I wanted to do to see if I could like create content and do the uber eats thing at the same time but girl I, my nerves be bad girl I be getting lost I know I have GPS, but girl, the GPS, the Uber GPS thing be telling you to go the wrong way. I just be getting frustrated. All right, y'all, welcome back to the vlog, girl. I just came in real quick to show y'all my outfit. We're about to go run some errands. So y'all, basically I have on this really cute athleisure set. Girl, ASOS practically gave me this set. The pants was $7, the shirt was $5. Then they gave me an additional 25% off. Y'all know I have on the infamous Pumas. Girl, these are so comfortable. And then I just have on this really cute crop denim jean jacket. I'm back. So. Y'all, I am sitting in this parking lot, uh, Office Depot parking lot, and I am trying to get this package together uh, to send back to ASOS. Um, 
So y'all, in regards to uh, the Uber Eats, Uber Eats update, girl. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know because, okay. Y'all, first of all, let me say this. The day after I did Uber Eats, girl, I woke up the next morning and my knees was crying. Stand up. Stand up. Girl, and I'm not used to all of that getting in the car, getting out the car, getting in the car, getting out the car. So that's number one. My knees was like, bitch, what are you doing? So that's number one. Number two, I just feel like I did all of those deliveries and I really didn't, but not all of, I did four deliveries. And I really, to me, I just didn't make a lot of money. So all in all, when I add everything up with my tips and everything, guys, I made... Let me see. I made about $70 because we got to add up the money I made doing the delivery plus the money I made in tips plus the money I made uh, with the little incentive. So to in a total, total, yeah, I think about $70. But y'all, I don't, I just don't feel like, I don't feel like that's something that I want to do. So we might have to move on to our next adventure. Cause I don't know if Uber if Uber is for me and then too, girl. I be getting lost. And then in Houston, the way that these apartments are, it'll tell you like uh apartment 925. Okay, but then you can't you can't find apartment 925 because they in building three. It's like if, if you're apartment 925, you're in, how are you in building three? And that's fine if you are put but put that on the directions. You know, put that on the instructions when you know that someone is coming to bring you something or whatever. So, girl, I don't know. Like, y'all, I, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So, we might have to be. So, yeah, girl, I think we're going to go on to our, our next adventure. So, that's just going to be the adventures of Addicted to Rock. So, um, basically, I wanted to find something to kind of generate some income. You know, part-time. Part-time, excuse me, because uh youtube is not uh you know what i'm saying like for me always you know needing equipment and y'all i want to travel you know what i'm saying like i want to travel i want to do stuff and i don't want to um i don't necessarily want to use my savings to do all of the things that i want to do you know what i'm saying so anyway girl we'll figure we're gonna figure something out but i don't i can't guarantee you guys that i'm just gonna be that I'm just gonna be all, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm, the the queen of, of Uber Eats. It when I when I did it before, it just seemed like when I did it before, I made more money faster. But because they're offering you all these incentives and stuff, they're not gonna send you these twenty one dollar orders. You know what I'm saying? Uber is like, girl, we offering you some free money, so just take what we, you know, just deliver to where we tell you to deliver to. And it's like, girl. I don't, I don't know but anyway y'all so we got to go to burlington coat factory and uh so i need to go to uh burlington coat factory real quick and i need to um girl i hope this thing is taped up enough i need to take this stuff back and i need to get i wanted to get uh some more hair products after i take this thing back then we need to take this thing back to ross or whatever so let me finish packaging this stuff up and then I'll see you guys. I'm going I'm to call y'all back. All right, y'all, a change of plan. So the thing that I was going to take back to Burlington, y'all, it is, I missed the uh, deadline literally by one day. I think today is the 16th. So girl, I should have had it, uh, sent it to taking it back by the 15th but it's no big deal it's just some body wash and i didn't i just did not particularly like the smell of it but that's fine it's, it's not a big deal so anyway now we're on to our next destination uh so we're gonna run to ross i need to return something but i mean do people really return stuff to ross and the reason why i'm saying that is because girl you're gonna go on ross with the intentions of returning something and then you're gonna end up buying something else we all know that that's just pretty much how it works when you go to ross all right y'all i am back and girl i guess this this lady that didn't park next to me she's sick of my shit. But anyway, baby, she say, I'm sick of your shit. 
because <laughs> uh, I guess I was she thought I was coming out but girl I got things to do okay I needed to set this camera and stuff up girl but anyway y'all baby your girl that went in Ross and put together a cute ass outfit oh my goodness I cannot wait to wear this outfit y'all it's so cute I love it but anyway girl so okay y'all so I'm about to have a uh, a random thought hold on right quick oh. so let me put my seatbelt on before we get on this street and I'm debating y'all I want some barbecue I feel so sad let me look up and first of all before I even start this oh okay so if we get some barbecue we're gonna go to Papa's barbecue hold on oh they don't close until nine so let's uh let's head on over here to Papa's barbecue I could have went home and made like some little some little sliders like um some breadless sliders but I don't want that y'all ever have food at home go grocery shopping and have a house full of food and be like I don't want that anyway okay y'all let me stop rambling let's get on to the meat and the potatoes of what I need to talk about so y'all okay yeah do y'all ever think back on you on like your 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 past relationships i was thinking back on my one of my past relationships and i thought to myself i was like you know what rochelle girl you was in a whole lesbian relationship with a man how you be in a lesbian and i don't have anything against lesbians gay men anything i don't have a problem with that at all but I feel like I was in a whole lesbian relationship, but I wasn't with a woman. I was with a man. And I was just, when I, ooh, when I was at Ross, I was just thinking about like, it just felt like I was with, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get onto the street, girl. Okay, that's better. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to get the camera adjusted so it won't be you know sliding all around but anyway so i just felt like i was saying guys i felt like i was in a whole lesbian relationship but i, I was with a man and the reason why i was thinking that is because it was just like you know y'all i would be trying to like say all this little sexy stuff to him like one time girl we went out we was we went out to eat or whatever and i was just like you know saying all this little sexy stuff to him you know like whispering in his ear <laughs> You know, just being a little, you know, a little sex kid and stuff. Girl, why he gonna talk about, um, you know, cause I had, I was kind of like, you know, so what, you know, what we gonna do when we get home or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. But it was a lot more, it was a lot more spicy than that. Why this fool gonna talk about, um, I, I, I need to finish my, I need to finish my homework. Girl, because he was in school at the time. I gotta go to school. I, I just think that I was just a lot more sexual than he was. And then another time, girl, we driving, like he we going we either on our way back to the house or, or yeah, we was on our way back to the house. So girl, y'all, I was trying to be all spicy and stuff. So I was like, uh I like I'm trying to figure out okay so then okay y'all there's two different situations one time y'all you know how guys have on on distressed jeans whatever so he had some distressed jeans on and the jeans kind of had like the distressing in them which they had like a hole in them and but the hole was you know the hole was was near you know <laughs> the hole was strategically placed near his lower loins if you know what i mean near that poke link that beef sausage and girl so i like took my finger and like kind of like put it in the hole of his pants you know near near that hot link girl y'all why was he like stop stop it don't do that y'all we was at a restaurant i mean and i'm like i'm just trying to set the mood because i'm thinking like we out we at a restaurant you know let me let me see if i can get him a little spicy extra crispy or whatever girl so he talking about stop don't do that and it was like i just always felt like i don't know i just always felt like i was just the aggressor when it came to like the more sexual part of our relationship and then another time um we was we was uh driving home this time we was driving home or whatever so you know i kind of just like you know slid my hand over there and you know just start trying to like rub on him and stuff and girl he was like 
I'm driving. Stop. I'm driving. And it was like, it was just always constant. It just him always constantly acting like a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like acting like I was the man in the, like in terms of being like the sex sexually. I was the man in the relationship. And I was like, golly, like, come on. So I just got so sick of that shit. And then it was other times where he would be like, um, my back is hurting can you girl y'all he would like a like a girl like waking me up in the middle of the night my back is hurting can you rub my back <laughs> and I, of course i'm very nurturing when i'm in a relationship i'm very very nurturing i'm very like loving and that kind of stuff so of course i didn't want him to be in pain and i just woke up and i was rubbing his back but it wasn't to me his, 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 his i don't feel that his back was hurting i just feel that he just wanted you know me to soothe like he just wanted like me to soothe him or whatever but he just was not like a very 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 sexual guy you know and i was like damn i ain't like that shit and so anyway and if his back wouldn't hurt it was just always something now don't get me wrong y'all i'm not i'm not oh oh lord jesus i'm not uh naive enough to think like you know he wasn't he probably was cheating the whole time which is why he was it all something was always hurting but it's just the it's just the principality the principle of the whole thing it's principalities in this i just felt like i was in a whole ass relationship with a girl i'm just like shit. if i did want to switch over to the other side it ain't gonna be no problem because i baby i have a lot of experience because of him dealing with a girl the only thing i didn't have to deal with with him was him having cramps every month other than that i was in a whole relationship and i was the damn man i was the man of the house i was the man in the relationship that is ridiculous a snitch, nah, that's that shot,